What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the top 5 Twitch streamers that got injured or hurt while live streaming. With that said, if you like Twitch Top 5 videos, make sure to leave a like on the video and if we can break 5,000 likes, I'll make this a weekly series. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification to enter our Amazon gift card giveaway. It literally takes like 5 seconds to enter, but anyways with that said, let's get right into the video. Number 5. Nanonoko is a streamer who is pretty good at poker, so good in fact that he's actually managed to get almost 50,000 Twitch followers while playing it. In this clip, Nanonoko forgets that he's boiling some water to cook up a packet of instant noodles. When his chat reminds him that he's forgotten about it, he goes over to the stove with his camera to show off his pan of boiling water. Only the pan of water isn't boiling at all, because Nanonoko actually turned on the wrong part of the stove. Instead, the handle of his pan was left right over the part that was turned on, causing it to become very hot. The only issue is that he didn't really notice it and the fact that it would make the handle very hot as well. So that's when he grabs onto the handle and gets burned pretty much straight away, but the funniest part of this video is the fact that Nanonoko seems to have absolutely no idea why he got burned. Like the guy could play a pretty mean game of poker, but he can't boil water to save his life. Water. Can you guys let me know when I'm boiling water? Thanks. Let's see if we can show you. Does this thing move? And that is boiling. Oh, I'm hitting. Ah! Oh, fuck! Fuck. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Hold on. Holy shit. Oh. 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 Fuck. I was. I was. Why was the pot hot? I was. I was. Ah. Uh, I was uh, heating the wrong, the wrong stove panel thingy, majigger. Oh, my hand hurt. Number four. Okay, so Phantom Lord's Twitch account doesn't actually exist anymore. It was removed due to terms of service violations because of some sketchy CSGO gambling ring. Now what happens in this video isn't exactly what got him banned, but it's a pretty good example of the stupid stuff that the X streamer used to get up to. Basically, to celebrate getting 9,000 subscribers, he prepares to launch a huge cartoon of confetti or streamers into the air. However, what he didn't realize was that the confetti cannon was pointed the wrong way around. That's when he goes to launch it and the hard cap ended up flying off straight into his leg. The blast basically brings him to the ground and it sounds like it hurt the guy quite a bit. With that said, let me know in the comments the dumbest thing you've ever done to hurt yourself. I'd love to hear your stories. Pick up a handful is he of litter, throw it in the air. Because my nipples are cold now. Oh, baby, here we go! 9,000 subs, guys, we're almost fucking there. 9,000 subs. Oh, it's the other way around! Oh, my leg! Oh, fuck, that really fucking hurt. Jesus Christ. Number three. So green screens could be a great addition to a stream, allowing people who play games to remove their background to make less of the gameplay hidden by a face cam. Unfortunately, as the streamer Abusive Pillow found out, they could go wrong really fast. Basically, Pillow was dancing in front of his green screen when suddenly it started to fall over and wrap him up. He tried to escape the embrace of the green screen, but it was no use, and the screen managed to wrap him up and bring him to the ground entirely. It doesn't end there though, because as Pillow fell, he bumped his head into something and actually managed to chip his tooth. Like a lot of injuries will fade over time, but unless he gets a cap for his tooth, it'll be chipped forever, all because of a green screen. I gotta admit though, this one was seriously hilarious to watch. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh! Shit. No! I, I legit just chipped my tooth. Number two. I mean, I guess making ramen and boiling water is harder than I thought because this clip is the second time a streamer has messed it up and ended up hurting themselves. The Twitch streamer Magical Cube only has around 250 followers, but that doesn't make his cooking fail any less funny to watch. Basically, when trying to make a joke out of what he should pour his ramen into, he ended up pouring it all over himself by accident. What ended up happening is the burning hot water and ramen spilled all over his oven and his hand. At the end of the clip, he questions why the pan fell over, but what he doesn't realize is that when he put it back onto the oven, it fell down a small gap in between the two halves. I mean, at least it looks like he was able to salvage the food, but his pink hand showed that the burn probably hurt quite a bit. Guys, you 
you want me to put it in this bowl or the thing? You're so lazy. Shut up! Which one, guys? Which one? Which one? Which Ah! Fudge! Oh my god! I hate my life! Ouch! It hurts! It hurts. Oh my god. No. It hurts. Dude, I just burned my hands. Do you see how pink they are? Bowler. <laughs> Gosh, it hurts. Number one. Now cats may be cute, but they could also be pretty dangerous. Sarah Kate was getting ready to play a game of domination on Nuketown 2025 in the classic Black Ops 2 when her cat walked over behind her. In an attempt to do something funny while the game was migrating host, she tried to make the cat give her a kiss, but instead of a face full of cat tongue, she got a face full of cat claws. Obviously unamused by its owner, the cat lashed out and scratched Kate right on her eyeball. The aftermath was, well, pretty horrific, with blood coming straight out of the eye after the attack. It looked insanely painful, and in her panic, Sarah didn't know what to do, but luckily she came out of it okay and is still streaming to this day. I gotta admit though, that could have been so much worse. Give me kisses. Hey. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And there's our video on the top five Twitch streamers who got injured live. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever we upload a video. Also, if you have your own top five or top 10 idea, feel free to use your extremely handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.